434 the time, all you white married women that uh, voted for Trump because you, because your husband made you. Uh, you know, I had to, honest to goodness, I mean, I've been around for a while. You know, I've spent 25 years in radio and television. I had to read this twice just to make sure I was getting it accurately. I mean, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Um, I, I won the places that mattered the most. No, you didn't, or you'd be president. Uh, why? About 52% of white women voted for Trump despite the Access Hollywood tape showing him using vulgar language in the days before the election. Because people didn't care about that as much as they cared about a corrupt politician. That's why. She said she lost because of racism and misogyny. And quite honestly, she had the thing won until white married women succumb to the pressure of their husbands, bosses, sons, other men in their lives. White women, I'm not making this up. Hillary Clinton, and you know she's a pro, she said white women didn't stand up to the men in their lives pressuring them to vote for Donald Trump. That's why I'm not president. Wow. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, Holly in Mineral Well. Holly, thank you for waiting. Oh, I didn't check. Is this a white married woman? Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, and she okay. also claimed that she was barefoot pregnant in the kitchen okay. at the time. Holly, Holly is barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen in Mineral Well. Um, Holly, we better finish up this call before your husband gets home. <laughs> yes, sir. I am 28 weeks along now. Well, congratulations. Thank you. It's, it's a boy. Yay. <laughs> Is that your first? Oh, no, it's, it's my fifth, actually. Fifth? Yes, sir. Wow. Okay, well, congratulations. Thank you. I voted for Trump wholeheartedly. I had my mind made up before I even talked to anybody else. Was that, I, one, was that one of the kids or a cat? Oh, sorry, that, that's a cat. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> um. You had your mind made up. Yes, sir, I did. I was working um, at the time, and I actually got into several arguments with my coworkers over the fact that they were voting for Hillary, and one in particular did not even really understand why she was voting for Hillary. It's just because (laughs) someone told her to. (laughs) There was a lot of that going around, wasn't there? Yes, and so I sat down and I spoke with her about it, and I told her, you know, the ups and downs of both sides, and she decided to vote for Trump as well. Really? So you swayed a, a, a potential Hillary vote? Yes. Well, see, maybe Hillary's got a point. It was uh, those white married women that uh, kept her from the presidency. Uh, <laughs> I don't even understand that. But I'm not a white married woman, so, you know, there you go. But, you know, that kind of rationale, that sounds like uh, like somebody perhaps needs some medication. That to be doesn't, honest, to me, it kind of sounds like a toddler throwing a fit that they didn't get their way. Exactly. Precisely. It's been a year, hasn't it, Holly? It's been a year since the election. Exactly. Uh, she wrote a book called What Happened, uh, and now she continues to redefine what happened, and now it's your fault. Uh, evidently, uh, white married women... Uh, under pressure from their husbands, voted for Trump when they wanted to vote for her. Uh, this, You're right. It's like a toddler throwing a fit. Well, if we are the ones that swayed the vote, then more power to us. But it had nothing to do with my husband. <laughs> so your husband didn't tell you what to do then? Absolutely not. Well, Holly, I appreciate the call. Congratulations on the uh, the new young man. Thank you very much. All right. Hope to talk to you again soon. Uh, Linda in Fairfield. Linda, thank you for waiting. How you doing, Linda? Hello, Rick. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. I'm uh, just going to throw a pebble in this cesspool that we call uh, Clinton. Okay. Anyone ever stop and think through her whole life with Bill, there's been a parade of women coming and going out her back door that other men have brought to Bill or that slinked in underneath his desk in the White House. She's actually the one that stood by and let 
a male, a husband, tell her when to be quiet, when to sit down, when to speak up and have a brave face. And she still came out on the raw end of the stick. Wow, you so know. I think she, I think she associates uh, submissive women to their husbands with herself. And so she strikes out at all women that don't back her up like a bunch of chickens running out of a chicken coop. Wow, what a what a what a great point. Uh, are you a I mean, psychologist or something? No, but I am a health care provider, and she this is long back in her history. This isn't something that just cropped up. She views men as an enemy, and other women are being brought to the men she cares about. Uh, you know, bring women bring brought to the men she cares about, and so it's that's what's got to be her problem because she's lost to that her whole life. So she knows nothing else to blame. You know that that uh, evaluation, that psychological evaluation, uh, makes what she said more sense. I mean, the connection is staggering. You're you're right. Mm-hmm. I mean. That, and this has been going on since Little Rock, by the way. It didn't happen in D.C. Uh, for the first Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Um, and she knew better. And like with Lewinsky, she knew better than to have a fit out in public because, A, everything she had invested would be gone, and, B, she had bigger aspirations. So other women that have come in the back door that she didn't know about, that she didn't see, that she couldn't control, as quote to her, has ruined her whole life. So anyway, that's just something to think about. Man, man, great point. Excellent point. Hope to hear from you again, Linda. Thank you. All right, uh, 441 the time. Um, by the way, is anybody surprised that they didn't find any collusion with Russia? Uh, by the way, if you're just joining me, the Russia investigation, after a year, it's over. The report couldn't find any collusion. So if you see, it, it you know, like right before the 4th of July, be out in the backyard or something you see a fireworks go up you know it's before the fourth but you see a you know bottle rockets and you see before the fourth of july people can't wait those are democrats losing their mind tonight okay because they just know there had to be some kind kind of collusion well there's not according to the report we spent a year investigating spent a lot of time money and resources didn't find anything does that surprise you at all 